Good afternoon, folks. We are live once again. Let me get everything switched over and loaded up, and we will jump back into more Portrait of Ruin. We should have audio, we should have video. Charlotte, Seems a little loud. Oh no, it's 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 going higher every time the, these two yell out on the swap. I think it's about normal. We'll leave it there. Hey, I see Red Dragon's here. What's up, Red Dragon? Get my cursor off the screen. How are you doing today? Hope you're having a decent week. You know, it is late o'clock where you're at. But it has been busy. Now I have, I have to remember what exactly we were doing. I think we explored the section to the left, but I died before I could hit a save point. So we'll just go through there and see what zones open up. And we'll just keep going. Last time the big to-do was the fight against death. I remember we were on that encounter for a bit. So we're moving on to the later portion of the game, I think. Dragon says, doing okay, I'm sick. Ah, uh, did you catch whatever bugs going around? That sucks. Hope you feel better, man. I still need to get my flu shot. Like I mentioned last time, that the pharmacy near where I live is most likely going to be going out of business soon. And it's going to be more of a pain to go to a place that has... What was that? What popped up? A place that has uh, like free shots and whatnot. Since the one near where I live is a minute away. I could walk there if I wanted. And the nearest one after that is one city away. So maybe I'll try and get over there in the next week or so. But yeah, weather-wise, it is definitely like cold season here. I brought in my pepper plant because it's getting cold. It's not freezing yet or close to freezing, but it probably will get closer in the next couple weeks. All the warm days are gone, so I brought Hobby Gilmore inside and I bought a grow lamp, which puts out not ultraviolet, but whatever type of, of equivalent to sunlight that plants need to grow. And I just got it yesterday. Maybe I'll put a picture in the Discord when I get it set up, but the plan is to have that pepper plant indoors with the grow lamp so that hopefully it stays alive during the cold season. The peppers have not turned color yet. There's about five decent-sized habaneros on there. But they have not started to turn yellow. So Ooh, piercing beam. Charlotte. Charlotte. And so, hopefully, if I can keep them well lit, they will start to turn color, and then I can actually harvest them. Because right now, if I, if I pick the peppers before they start to turn color, they'll stay green and they won't be hot. And they'll essentially just be, like, weird-looking bell peppers. But right now the plan is going to be to bring in a couple of my my more valuable plants before it gets snow season. Okay, let's, we can test this with Charlotte. I think this is the big Kamehameha move. Oh, well, it's not big, but it is a laser. I guess we can Jonathan. throw that on there for now. But yeah, we're full, full on into autumn. It'll be winter soon. 
We'll see how bad the snow season is this year where I live. Here, so there should be hopefully there's a safe point around here somewhere. I honestly don't remember if we got all the way up here. That lower part I think connects the path further down, so I'm gonna keep going. Maybe I can use one of my lesser items. Oh, I don't have any. Healing potions. I forget to buy them. Hmm. That might be a problem. Oh boy. Nope. You do not care. Final guard. Hmm. It's that shield. Well, if I had more health, I'd try and just brute force it. But I don't have any healing. So I'm going to circle back around. Then maybe we can port over to the merchant and buy some potions. I'm going to backtrack, and then we'll take the northern path. It should connect to where we're at, just from the other side of where that night was. But I'm going to be a little bit careful. That level. Okay, let's port back to the hub for a shop, buy some healing for future use, and then what I'll do is we'll loop around through that path again, go through that room, but we'll go straight and then up. Should have done this last time, I guess I forgot. already? No, we didn't. Floor. You're back. Three non items. She have three non items. Hmm. 
I'm gonna pick up at least one. Maybe not. Hey, buddy. So good. Oh man, I don't have a lot of money. Hmm. Can buy two lesser potions. I huh, wonder if I have anything worth selling. Oh, I guess I can sell something that I have more than one of. Lava was talking about needing to save some of these for quests, so won't sell everything. Man, I don't have a lot. Thank you. Oh, what's the You're back. Okay, I guess we're just gonna look into that as we go. She doesn't have any sort of healing or purification abilities. I guess we'll just proceed for now. I'm sure he'll be fine. He looks uh, a little ashy, but he'll be fine. Okay, we'll make our way to that same room from the other side. on our defense I'm taking a decent amount of damage oh it does hit more than once all right Does pierce, okay. Jonathan. I'm gonna use that to get around those sentries. Yeah. Now we're gonna head straight up instead of over. This is a save point. 
Oh, no, it's... Oh, okay. Hmm. So there should be a save nearby if it's giving me a... Oh, yep, you're there. Charlotte! doing any damage. We're just gonna leave. There it is. Alright. Ooh, boss? Okay, who's gonna be this time? Sisters Stella, uh, Loretta, what's the other one's name? Loretta, okay. Okay, now I gotta fight yeah. both at the same time. I think these two are going to be in the upcoming Vampire Survivors DLC. is fun. I'm going to be picking that up next week when it comes out. Oh, you just... Stop that. Oh, I remember that. So Loretta's resistant to magic. Stella just takes regular damage. Ooh. She's melee. -er. Potion. Oh, this is not damage. Ooh, that's fast. All right, I wonder if I need to hit. Stella with magic and switch to Jonathan for Loretta. Hey, Lava's here. Skill issue rude. Ooh. Oh, that's hard progress. Welcome to the stream, Lava. yet but our Charlotte. next objective be taking out the sisters I don't know looks like Stella takes the same damage roughly because she's just resistant to anything physical Side of that for sure. Oh, that's a different one. Ow. Charlotte! 
Whoops, I didn't mean to call you. Well, let's run this proposed. Well, that goes full screen, too. Hmm, it's gonna be a tough fight. Nice if I had a little more healing. Oh, man, they have a lot of attacks. Trying to stagger her out of that it was not fast enough. Oh, that's physical hazard. Do I have sanctuary spell? I don't think so. Is that a single spell for Charlotte or is it a group one? Is that something I need to... Okay. Alright, let me see if I can get further in the fight. I know I need to do something special for these two, because it affects the ending, I think. Alright, well, we'll see if we can get to the next phase, at least. Uh oh Alright, well, I'm dead. Is it a, a single spell? Oh, okay, that that's right. Bad ending if I kill him. That's here? Alright. I don't have Sanctuary. Is that something I get from Eric? Oh, it's a good thing we're right next to the warp. Okay, well, it's... That's actually pretty good timing because a shopkeeper guy just got bitten by a vampire, so now he's already becoming undead. Let's go back to the main hub and see... Actually, I'll just look it up. I will look it up. That way we can save some time. Good old game facts. All right, I might have missed uh, a zone too. Let's see what, what this thing has me doing, what order. We, we beat death last time. I wonder if I need to check out another zone. If you see a spot on the map that I'm supposed to hit next, let me know. I've explored the majority of what we have unlocked. Okay, beat Nation of Fools. That was the weird clown city. Beat Stella. Uh, we beat Forest of Doom. Yeah, that was the frog demon. Okay, death. That was where we were last time. Okay. According to this, Sanctuary is in the southeastern part of Sandy Grave. Oh, you need to use Toad Morph to get in there. Okay, it's in... 
it's an area that I couldn't access when I was there because I didn't have the toad spell. Okay, we need to go to the, the pyramid. Which, let's go back to Eric. There's a, a quest in there. Let's see if I can get that too. Yeah, okay, so we got to go back to the pyramid. We do want to get the good ending. You're back. Okay, I think this is. Oh, no, I already have it selected. All right, that's fine. Okay. Oh, Sandy Grave is in the lower right corner zone, I think. South, east. We go all the way to the bottom and then cut over to the right. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Lava says, oh, and Rao could try and to also get the javelin sun weapon and max it out. I have not seen a javelin weapon yet. I'm gonna double check. I think you asked me about that before for Jonathan. Oh, sub weapon. Uh, I haven't picked up the, the javelin sub weapon yet. I remember you mentioning it. Uh, it must be something I missed in a particular zone. If you remember where it is, or if you want to look it up, then I can make a side stop to get it. Yeah. Especially if it's in yeah. an area that I've been to before. Yeah. Oh, let's see. Yeah. Yeah. That quest said yeah. there's an area where ghosts gather. Yeah. Yeah. It's gotta be one of these spots. I can't see the quest. Can I? No, I can. Great ghost that appears there. I'm gonna assume that wasn't that one. That was a mummy. We'll keep looking. We'll see if we can find the, the one room for that quest. That's not why we're here, but... We're looking for a, somewhere that has a great ghost. These are regular ghosts and skulls. And dragon heads. Must be here. Charlotte. Maxing out javelin gets you Eric's spear. Is, is there proficiency in this? As far as it doesn't, does it tell you anywhere though? I've been primarily using the axe for now, but I don't see anything status. All right. Guides. Oh. 
That is the rewind. Does that go away on its own? Yeah. There it is. These are regular equipable weapons. Armor. Okay, it's somewhere where it'll show you your proficiency. Alright, we'll worry about that later. I don't have the, the thing. But now, throw... Toad spell. It's not Toad spell. There it is. I guess we can make our way through the, the parts that aren't completely filled in in the pyramid since we're here. Jonathan. We'll kind of clear the map and also see if we can find that one ghost room. Okay, I'll put piercing beam back on for now. check out this spot in the corner. I think it's just a little part of the map that I couldn't jump high enough to get. We didn't have the double jump when we came through here before. Guides under skills. Okay. Ah, there it is. You're right. So we need to figure out where the javelin is and then max out proficiency with that one. Uh, you want to look up where it is? And we'll maybe we'll do that next. Okay, this looks like a ghost room. Yeah, if you don't we don't mind lava since we're talking about it. Oh, I can't get up there. I think I'm gonna have to jump off her head. Waka knife. Okay, I think it's another sub weapon. Javelin is a drop from Armor Knights. Okay. Where. Which zone had the Armor Knights? Are those the ones that block with the shield? The kind of greenish looking ones? Those are just in the Master's Keep. Oh, I'll just look it up. Oh, purple knights with spears. These these dudes. Okay. These ones... I don't remember where we run into these. I think we run into them in the castle? Does it say? Should just look. No, it just gives their stats drops and weaknesses. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can find a place to farm. probably want to use. Do I have the Lux Dance? Nope. Does she have Spell for Luck? Mind, Con, Strength. No, of course, everything except Luck. Okay. Well, that's going to be annoying. If it's something i got to farm a drop for, I don't know if I'm going to worry about that right now, because I don't want to spend the, the stream farming. That will definitely not be that interesting. Uh, but we can try and clear out some of the other rooms here while we're in this zone.
Ectoplasm. Is that my target? Where'd it go? I wonder if that's the great goat ghost I'm supposed to kill. Imagine it would tell me in the quest list. So maybe it's not that thing. Oh, hey, look. Purple Knights of Spears. Maybe I can get lucky. try and see if there's more of them on one screen. Maybe I'll get lucky and get the drop all in here. that corner I don't think there's anything up there but it does kind of bug me that I can't clear that one corner of the map oh well uh, maybe it'll be easier to do that from bottom I can hit them both. Alright, well. Let's so see if I get lucky. What's the drop rate? Does, it, does that thing tell you? Oh, hey, there you go. Never mind. Talk about streamer luck. Okay. Oh, that one. I remember that one. Now that seems a little bit use more useful than the, the axe. All right. Time to spam javelins, I guess. Summon ghost. Oh, we'll go up one room, more room past the one with the knight. See if I can clear that while we're here, then I'll, I'll worry about filling out the map later when we have flight or some similar ability. This is the boss room. Lava says, also Raku's sub weapon experience works like. So once an enemy gets hit with a sub weapon, it does, you get the points, but only one sub weapon gets XP, so you can't spam. So per per landed hit on an enemy.
use it once, then kill the enemy. So, yeah, you just have to hit an enemy with it one time and then kill the enemy. As opposed to killing the enemy with the sub weapon. Each is what you're saying. Each shot of the weapon doesn't grant the experience. You, uh, Lava King says you only need to hit it once, not with the sub weapon, just hit it with the weapon. That doesn't make any sense, man. You're talking about using hitting it with your equipped like melee weapon, like the spear? Yeah. Or I actually have to yeah. hit the enemy with the actual projectile. I guess we can see. Uh, let's see what our, our guide says. Skills, javelin, 7 of 1,500. Wow, 1,500. Yeah. Okay, that's one. Okay, so that didn't actually grant the experience, but we'll kill the, the dragon head and I'll see if it gives it. Yeah, okay. So I have to hit the enemy with the sub weapon, then kill the enemy with just whatever I'm using to attack. Yes, just hit the enemy with the sub weapon. Do not need to, to kill. Just kill it normally to make sure the enemy dies, otherwise, I don't get the experience. That's going to take a long time. Yes. When the enemy that's been hit with the sub weapon dies, then you get the XP. Understood. Why didn't you just say that, my guy? <laughs> it's like one per thing, too. That's going to take a long time. But fortunately, it's cheap. Oh, there's another one down here. Uh, and of course. Alright, let's just head up and out. Lava says, Rock, I'm not going to yell right now as I don't have the energy. Fair enough. You don't have the energy to hit the caps button. Alright, let's get out of here. I guess we can test the Sanctuary spell on the Vincent? Merchant guy. Ah, come on. Analog stick. This would be a really dumb place to die. Let's equip you with Sanctuary. Cures abnormal status. Let's so go use it on Bull Cut. And then we'll port up to where the sisters were. We'll use it on them. And then we should be able to move forward.
Learned a purification spell. Yes, now I can break the vampires. Of course, I haven't been reading the, the lines from the characters. Well said. Another sub weapon to grind for off screen and maxes the pie. You get it from clowns. Oh, okay, that would have been in the City of Fools, I imagine. Okay. All right, buddy. And my bad. Oh, that takes a long time to go off. Hooray. What happens if you don't cure him? Does he just go go evil at some point? It's been it's been forever since I played this, so I don't even remember. All right. I'll make you a deal. Not enough. Let's buy another high potion. Thank but... you. Jonathan. All right. Save. Now let's go do the sister fight. Love saying for the sisters, have Charlotte cast Sanctuary at one end of the room and have Jonathan Tank hits to buy time. Oh, is it L1 or R1? Yeah. R1 to have her, her fly in and do her spell. So I just need to do it at the front of the room and then get all the way on the other side. That shouldn't be too hard. We'll save up here just in case I die. Do this more than once. Okay, the sisters have to be in range of the spell too. All right. Well, we'll give it a try. She go. She get hit. If she gets hit, does it? Uh, hmm. Okay. Is it range? Is there a maximum range before your partner cancels their action? It might have gotten too far away. Uh, that'd be good to test. She either got hit or I'll... no. I think she got hit. Yeah. Don't leave the screen. Okay. So I've got to space it a little bit so that she's just outside the boundaries. Or at least not get that far away. So like, right about here. Oh, she can't get hit though. Okay, I saw it cancel her. Uh oh, man, it's annoying. Nope. Alright. So she has to be within screen distance and she can't get tagged by an attack. Oh, what if I just have Jonathan distract and, and control Charlotte? Charlotte. Yeah. Jonathan. Uh, let's try Charlotte. that. Just see if it works. We'll call him in and then just have her use the actual spell. Yeah. Oh, that's the wrong one. I've done that almost every time. Yeah, okay, I don't think that's going to work. I think I need to control Jonathan. Alright, alright, it's Kelly. I don't think they'll do it, but it'd be so funny if they have the voice clips in Vampire Survivors for these two. 
Is these two are going to be characters in there. They were on the, the showcase. But if they have they have the voice clips, that'd be so funny. Oops. Wow, it says watch a video so you know what to do. You could send me a link if you have one. Say your prayers. Nope, nope. Please I forgot observe. that. I have to go under that. Oh, come on. It hit me in the wrong direction. Yeah, that's not going to work. If it didn't hit me to the right, that would have worked. It was like 99% there. If she does if she does that, then I need to be on the other end. Uh oh. Yeah, if she does that and Charlotte's to the right, it, it's gonna hit her and it's gonna cancel the spell. So I need to be on the opposite side of the sisters and have her have them firing away from her because if they do that, she's gonna get hit. It'll cancel. Uh, so maybe we put you there. And go this way. Or they'll they'll target her anyway. Yeah, that's fine. Hey, I'm out of magic. Did I get one shot for sanctuary. Or did it, it do that because I, my partner got hit and it killed my, my magic? The sword thing does a ton of damage, noted. Yeah, that does almost 100% damage. Alright. Hmm. Uh, no, I thought I could stand in front of her. Still gets hit. How are you supposed to deal with that then when they go into to the ice sword? Because it looks like she aggroes to whoever's right next to her. Ow. Uh, Alright, let's see if we can come up with a good strategy. 
that move isn't too bad. I guess I can I can block for for Charlotte, but that Ice Sword is trouble because she targets whoever's near. Lava says, have Charlotte be at the far end of the room, and then for best distance, have Jonathan be in the middle. Yeah, that's what I was doing, man, and he told me I was too far away. The problem is, if she does that lateral attack, and even if Charlotte's at the other end of the room... Uh oh Alright, alright. That actually worked. Uh, I just didn't dodge. How far is the range on Sanctuary? Were they close enough to get hit by that had not gotten clipped? They need to be in the flash. Okay, I think they need to be a little closer than that. Uh oh. So they got they got to be right kind of next to, not next to her, but they got to be kind of close so that it goes off. All right, that's that's hard, man. I don't remember how I did this back in the day. Well, get ready for an hour of this. I guess I have to get one of them, but not both at the same time. I will find out. I think we did it. By dumb luck. Stop saying no problemo, Jonathan. Atelier painting. Okay, I'm gonna go save before something farts on me and I die.
Is there a reason to wait on doing this part, Lava? Okay, well... smoke me. Assuming these are ones I've cleared already? Maybe not. Don't challenge whip until at least level 50. Okay. Locked. Alright. Alright, new zone. Oh, I should have gone and talked to Eric now that I've been all that, but we didn't finish that quest, so it's alright. Javelins. Got through that one sister's fight without using any healing, too. That's nice. There may be something worthwhile for killing this thing. No, just level. Just more level. And I'm about to die. Alright. Oh, nice. It's eight point. Uh, let's go back up to the top and just see if there's anything to the left of the screen. I'm assuming this is the level proper. Yeah. It's two Egyptian themed levels. Here I am. Trying to remember to at least toss one javelin. 
Eye for an eye. Shares damage received with enemies, huh? All right. says the the village Egyptian circus and school levels are just are used twice second ones are more annoying oh, okay so this is kind of like a essentially like a remixed version of the sandy grave okay so it's like like a redux version of the, the previous levels oh or continuation all right Save over here. Okay, we're level 26. To make a mental note to do the whip trial at level 50, from what Lava was saying. What level are you supposed to be for this particular area? I'm at 26. I have not done any level grinding in this game at all. I've just been going through each section linearly. Linearly. Okay, let's circle around. Thirty? I'm pretty close. Probably get some levels in here. We'll see. We'll see how difficult it is. Ow! Ow! Stupid fleas! Oh, there's curse. Do I even have uncurse? One. Once you get owl and toad, revisit every past stage. Yeah, I don't have owl form yet. Been able to go back with the toad one, but not the owl yet. from the top you can save to heal ooh they have armor okay that's trouble they're fast okay fast travel I am going to need a faster weapon to deal with those. Probably want to keep an eye out for a better weapon at some point, too. Halberd is okay. I like the range, but I don't like how slow it is.
go down the other side of the pyramid. Oh, okay. Guards against that. So just like in the, in the grave, just not enough vertical. The map's very similar. I, I don't think it's identical, but it, it is similar to the other one. I think the boss fight's gonna be in the middle, so we'll check out all the areas around the periphery first. And that's something I'm assuming we need Owl for because it's so high up. Skill thingy. New ability, but we can't get over there from here. Yeah, not even close. something in the floor? I look like a, a way down. Let me go back and save. Only similarity is the aesthetics. Okay, yeah. Not identical in layout, but similar looking. Okay, let's see what's down here. Yeah. I wonder how we're doing on our, our javelin progress. 134, 1500? Eh. Slowly but surely. Can use toad form here. Yeah, surely. Attack skill. Meteor summons meteors. I guess we can test that 
compared to the damage of Holy Lightning. Next time we get into a big fight. Might have been a waste. Oh well. I'm gonna probably save my super healing till later in the game when we're at like the end of the final boss. Okay. A lot of branching paths. Platinum Corset. That is bad across the board. Yeah. I've been holding on to items that I find lava. After you told me not to sell stuff because of the side quests. I've only been selling extra things if I need the cash to buy healing. My status curse. Check the bottom path to see. I think this is gonna loop around. place like this wouldn't be bad if I wanted to just farm for experience since I can hit several of these enemies at once with the javelin. But I am out of hearts now. Oh, pretty generous with the save points here. Jojo reference. That could very well be a Jojo reference. Isn't everything a JoJo? Anything can be a JoJo reference if you try hard enough. Yeah. 
Baba says it's an actual JoJo reference. Because Castlevania took a lot of inspiration from JoJo. I, I believe it. We were talking about the the idol pose too. Very, very JoJo. Alright. You know what? Saying anything is a JoJo reference is copium. You think? You think so? It's, it's true most of the time, though. Just the fact that you call something a JoJo reference in itself is a has become a meme, which I imagine has to be really annoying, both for people who legitimately are fans of the franchise and annoying for people who don't care about JoJo one way or the other. Box. Charlotte. Oh, thought I could jump it. says 90% of the time it's grasping at straws. I, I don't know. Depends on what it is. Could have just done that. Ah. Could have at least seen what it was. I'm gonna assume those jellies are weakening its spell damage. Uh, will they get hit by a piercing beam though? Will I go right over him? What's Tempest? Is this the one with the tornadoes on either side? Oh no, it's right in front. Uh. Hmm. Try it. Go through the floor. Ah, uh, it doesn't really do significant damage, though. Fire? Ah, uh, eh. Oh, that's poison. That's not curse. I think I'm going to die again. Jonathan. Oh, can I switch partners to get rid of status? I didn't even think to do that. Well, I, I still think I'm going to die, but... Oh. Yeah. 
Huh, I'll have to think about that. There with more life. Probably hit 30 by the time we get through all of these additional dungeons. Based on where we're at towards the end of the game, I'll, I'll see if I need to do any grinding. But until we hit some sort of actual wall of difficulty, I'm not too worried about it. Well, let's go up. Let's just see what's up here. I'll just loop around. Connects all the way back to the other path we're coming through from the left. Charlotte. Ha! Jonathan. So. Okay, well, we can switch to just change the other character, but I wonder if I have to wait for the, the status to physically wear off. Ooh. Oh, MP up, that's good. I wonder if it'll stay until I go and hit a save point or use an item. Whoops. Or it'll swear off. Okay, good to know. Bouncing projectiles really annoying. Woo! Alright, these things will come in one hit. Man, that was lucky. side path where the Venus brooch was. We'll get that. That better be worth it. Considering I've died like three times trying to get it. Yeah. Yeah. 
Charlotte. Oh, okay, they don't like ice. Good to know. Well, that looks unpleasant. Alright, what, what does this item even do? Calm down to... Int... Uh, Int Mine Lug, that's pretty decent. What about compared to the Diamond Brooch? Two points of defense down, or two points of con down. Mm, I think I'll take the hit on con for now. Well, it says slimes are weak to ma magic fantasy 101. Yeah, but they weren't universally weak to the same spells. Like They didn't seem to care about wind. They didn't seem to care about fire. It was ice that did a ton of damage to those slimes. Back in the same position I was in earlier. Okay, we've cleared out more of this lower area, and I think we need to go up and then to the right. There is... Well, we could backtrack and go around to the right from the save point that's directly above me into the... West. Yeah, that's a good point. I could check the bestiary, too. Which is the... Well, let's just take a look for the slimes. So the thing that looks like an upside down iceberg, that would be ice. It must have whiffed at the fire spell because I didn't see it take a lot of damage off. Lightning, fire, and ice. Blue is strong against that particular element. Strong? Are you sure? Oh, that's what you meant by hit by a hammer. That means they're weak against impact damage. Because the easily what did the most damage was an ice spell. We'll just switch to Charlotte whenever we need to kill those things. It's fine. Uh, hmm. I guess we can go back this way. Let's see if I missed anything directly above where I'm at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Poison running got spat on. Oh man, can I make it up to the save point directly above without dying down here? No problem. Jonathan, Charlotte, Jonathan. Check the collection guide. What collection guide? For what? I was looking at the bestiary earlier. Oh, I don't like that flickering. It makes my eyes hurt. What I'm love ass what, what am I playing on? What do you mean what am I playing on? I'm playing on PC. Not the in-game bestiary. Buddy, I, I don't know what you're talking about. There's the the enemy guide. You gotta be more specific, man. Uh oh, it's either po poison or stone. Here I am. Tiara. I don't think that was worth coming all the way back here. No, that's definitely not better. F1 and shift. F1 and... Or, you're talking about the, the menu? Compendium. Is this what you were talking about? You did not say compendium. You said collection guide, which I had no idea what that was. Okay, so blue is tolerance, red is weakness. That is the opposite of what you said earlier. So, where, where, where's the tan jelly thingy? Weak against... They're tolerant to hammer, so impact damage they are strong against, but weak against fire, ice, lightning. Resistant to physical attacks. Lava says, Rock, I'm screaming my phone now because of you. What? Why? You didn't say compendium. I had no idea what you're talking about. And you were, were wrong. You said blue was was weakness. That's why the, the jellies took 130 damage from one ice spell. Because they're weak against ice. He thought I for I didn't know what the compendium was was called. I've never seen that before. That's the first time I've even pulled it up since I've been playing the Dominus Collection. Because oh no, I don't use the rewind function. I I forget it's there most of the time. This is the first collection I've bought. You remember how I kept asking you if the advanced games were in a collection? It's because this is the first one I've ever bought for Castlevania. I have bought numerous copies of Symphony of the Night over the years, but this is the first like remastered collection of the older games I've ever bought. 
So if that's a feature that's submitted in all of them, that would be why I've never heard of it, because I've never played the other collections. And that would explain why I asked that question before about when are they going to port the other ones because I didn't know about them. You see? I'm not an idiot, I'm just ignorant. There's a difference. Uh, okay, that was definitely not worth going back for. We're going up and to the right. Well, says I can still call you both. Sure, you can call me whatever you want, but if you give me too much slip, I'm going to fire you. Don't make me ground you. I'll take away your uh, sc screen time. Is that what they do for kids nowadays? I don't know. I don't have any kids. Alright, let's just go back through a little more carefully. Down to... This doesn't connect. I've got a loop all the way under anyway. Alright. Just kill me. I think there's actually pretty few games I can consider myself a like legitimate expert on, like speak with authority. I feel like I know Monster Hunter pretty well because we play a lot of Monster Hunter. Uh, I consider myself pretty knowledgeable on God Hand because it's one of my favorite games. But outside of that, I know SMT fairly well, but I haven't played every single game in the series. So like SMT Persona, I wouldn't say I'm an, an expert on, but I've played a lot of them. Lava is saying you play Nocturne doesn't make you an expert on SMT. I played more than Nocturne. I know you don't really like Nocturne that much, but that's not why I would say I know SMT well, and I just said I wouldn't consider myself an expert on it. I've played Nocturne 4, 5 Vanilla, we're playing through Vengeance now. I've played Strange Journey, and that's pretty much it for the, the mainline SMT games. Technically, if you want to count uh, Demi Kids, that's the first branded SMT game I played, but it's not part of the mainline franchise. I've played Persona 3 and 4. I've not played 5. I've played Devil Survivor 1, 2, Devil Summoner 1. I might be missing one or two other games from handheld in there somewhere. So yeah, i played a decent amount of the SMT branded things, mainline or spin-off series, but I still wouldn't consider myself a big expert on them, because I haven't played the old ones. I haven't played Persona 1 or 2. Okay, we're going up. And right. I was just saying on one of the... I think it was when we were playing Vengeance last week that I really would like them to bring back either a remastered version or a game in the style of Strange Journey. That game was fun. I like Etrian Odyssey. So kind of blending those two and putting like the first person and a look of the old SMT game that I thought was neat. And it was hard. Strange Journey was not an easy game. I am starting to lose my patience with the halberd. 
Even the great swords would have a better range of swinging overhead, but they're slower a little bit. I'm gonna die. I should probably go and track down the nun items and get that healing spell that Eric has on the side quest. It would help for the levels. It might not help a ton with bosses, but it would help with the levels because I don't have a lot of healing. Backtrack. Just try and move through, not get into unnecessary fights. Gotta be close to the boss, right? I'm assuming we're getting near the end of the zone. Oh, stay there. Oh. I had something that would swing at a better arc. But Halberd might be one of the most damaging things I've got in my list. Oh, two grand. Alright, that might have been worth it. Oh, I just realized the skeletons are called Yorick. That's clever. Uh, do I have any regular food? Nope. Let's keep going. I'm just going to avoid these enemies. They're a pain to try and hit with the halberd. Oh, okay, boss time. I guess I wasted healing. Oh, well. Mommy? Yep. That does not a lot of damage. Looks like physical attacks are the way to go here. Okay, that would have been a more worthwhile super move to use. Mm, okay. We'll keep seeing if there's a phase two. Okay, I can do better.
Whoops. Okay, that wasn't the best place to do that. Oh, you can't be cancelled, I forgot. Jonathan. For some reason I thought you were invincible when you do that. Alright. Not when the blocks are out. Seems like a pretty manageable fight. I'd be a little bit careful. Let's get hit by all the things flying around. Wow, this is who needs hell divers. EDF is where the action is. I've never played any of the Earth Defense Force games. I've never owned any of them, but people I know who played them really liked them. They don't take themselves too seriously. Ow. Didn't do that. do a lot of damage. Oh, you weren't kidding when he said the bosses hit hard. Trying to do a better job dodging. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they can hit my blocks. Oh, I guess I can bait them out, too, a little bit. Ah. I might need to go get some healing. How much money do I have? Oh, 6k? I could buy a few of the medium healing potions, but I'd have to go... There's no waypoint close to here. I'd have to go all the way down to the bottom, port out, and then come back. Ah, we'll give it a few more tries. I don't really want to do that. It's going to be like a 15-minute side trip. Yeah. 
Or I could hit by every, get hit by every single block. That's fine. This isn't a good run. Just keep practicing. Oh, I want to test Meteor. Uh, I'll do that next run. I will put it on. Put it on him. See if Meteor does decent damage. We haven't used that one yet. Three fifteen. Uh, okay, that's pretty decent damage. That might actually be more than the the knives, and I think I'm invincible. But it's expensive. And it looks like there's a decent cooldown on it. Better be careful and time that so that he's not teleporting off screen when I do that move. always miss the last one. There's five, not four. Pattern recognition. I am. Ooh. Oh, man. Ha! Uh, I guess I could have probably done that without using a super, but it's alright. We'll just move on. Could have been cleaner, but a win's a win. I'll buy more healing next time I go back to the hub. Okay, what we'll do is we'll see what we get for clearing this particular area, and then we'll we'll take stock of our time. Oh. Huh. Ooh. Holy mail. Good upgrade. Okay, so this lets us just choose the next painting right away. But I am going to leave. This takes me to the castle, right? It's gonna stick me, yeah. Okay, it sticks me out here, so. This one's done. I guess the city will be our next target. 
and then the circus or we could do the graveyard okay we have a choice but for now and there's no waypoint here okay for now let's go back grab some supplies so next session we'll be able to jump straight into the the next series of zones which is nice we won't have to do much exploring probably I'd say more than more than halfway maybe close to the last quarter of the game maybe last third oh yeah all right we got more plot Hey, didn't say no problem all that time. I'll make you a deal. Okay, no supers yet. We'll buy three of these for now. Okay, we've got all the maps. A bunch of random gear. Thank you. Okay, so we'll, we'll double check and see if Eric's got any new quests. You're back. Nope. Okay. So we will go ahead and... Let's see. We could go into the next zone and just take a look around. I don't want to do a whole other zone because it's that's going to take a bit. And I need to go see to dinner soon. But let's go back up here. We have a choice, so maybe we'll just go in order. Thirteenth Street. Okay, yeah. So this is like our sequel version of the the town or city. Marked Street, not Market Street. Yeah. Uh, that was unexpected. supposed to do to deal with that yeah. hmm, I have to come here later I, I know I'm just running into the same thing over and over again I'm just messing around to see if, uh, oh no it just shows up Okay. Lava, do you remember how we're supposed to get past the train? Can't jump it.
it triggers when we get about there. I can't push it. Huh. Maybe we have to come back here. I don't have any abilities that, that would work on a friggin' train. Okay, well, maybe we come back to this one. Cause that there's only one path forward. Dark Academy. Okay, we'll do this one next. This is like the forest part two. Castlevania enemies. Okay, let's get to the first save point, and then we will get ready to wrap up for today. We'll see if the raid feature is working for me right now. Hey, the owl form. Okay, that's good. It means we can go and complete a lot of the other levels where we have to get high up. Figure we're gonna get that around here somewhere. Summon crow. Plate. That's probably not better than holy mail. Nope. Okay. I wonder if I missed a save point in that first area. Usually there's one right in the entrance. is headed. Oh, there it is. Okay. Well, good timing. Hit our save point. Alright. Well, we're gonna wrap up and get ready to see if we can find someone to raid, but thanks for hanging out, Red Dragon. We'll be back tomorrow roughly the same time, and I'll be doing a jam stream the first time in a while during the week. Well, feel free to stop on by if you want to talk about beatboxing and work on some music ideas. Let's see, who is online that we can raid? Let's see. Oh, hey, Dio's online. I haven't seen her online for a bit. Earth Day week. Okay, uh, she's playing Silent Hill 2. Let's go head over there and see how the, the spoopy, spoopiness is going. Well, let me go ahead and... We'll mute this audio and go to outro. And we will 
wrap up for the day. Thanks for hanging out, folks. Uh, shout out to Lava King for all the help with the game. I know I give him a lot of, a lot of crap, but I do appreciate the help and all of the honest opinions, of course. So again, we'll be back tomorrow. In the meantime, hope you all have a good rest of your evening slash morning, and I will catch you in the next one. Well, let's go see how the Silent Hills are going. Cause the the shout out. I just saw that pop up in the chat. Oh, I, I never mind. I saw Red Dragon shout out Lava King. Thanks for doing that, man. All right, let us commence the raid. I'll catch you folks later. Or it could not let me raid. That's that's cool too specifically reset my machine before I started today just, just so that that one error probably wouldn't happen but I can't raid so that sucks right, let me try one more one of my other VTuber peers is also online let's see if it's a setting thing if this doesn't work then we'll just wrap for the day alright try number two Nope, I am cursed still. Okay, well, I did my best. Either way, catch you folks tomorrow. Peace.